Lufer, angel of my life. For the love I have is so real. How can I? Is that they have been married in love? They are best friends and indeed soulmates. This anniversary is a perfect time for them to live through memories they have made together. They are the moments that brought them to where they are today. Still anticipating, still creating memories that they will remember tomorrow. My mom is so beautiful. Take a look at her. She's gracious, giving, very supportive. She's selfless. She's kind. She's the Proverbs 3110 woman. It isn't hard to see why my father fell so in love with her. My handsome daddy. I call him my young man. <laughs> He's the best dancer I know, and as a little child, he was the strongest man in the world. So nobody could touch him. My father was strong. And his sense of humor is just over the moon. My siblings and I are so grateful to God to have been blessed with two incredible human beings that we are privileged to call our parents. Mommy, be the, uh, the call our parents. Mommy and Daddy, thank you so much for being the perfect example for all of us. Thank you for all that you have been for us. Thank you for making sure we have the proper education, for, for ensuring that we lack nothing. We are who we are today because of you. Thank you. teaching us about Christ at a very young age. I remember very vividly my dad would make sure that every child during uh, morning devotions and night prayers read the Bible verse. Whether you could read or not, don't go through it when you have to. So thank you. I was well, thankful to God that we haven't departed from Christ. Thank you. Thank you for showing us the glimpse of how Christ loves through your own lives. It is said, I have said it before and I will say it again. My mom is a Proverbs 31 woman. My mom is a virtuous woman, the most supportive woman to her husband and children. And my dad, there is something captivating about the way he loves my mom. Ah, you would just love and love. Oh my God. <laughs> Daddy, your patience has kept all of us grounded. You're the man upon which I measure all other men. Amidst all the complexities of life, love, and family, there is an endearing lesson to be learned from the simplicity of your love for each other. The world has changed in so many ways since the last 50 years, yet people are still choosing to get married. And I believe it's because they have seen people like you who have shown how well it can work. I stand here today as the woman that you have helped me become, and I pray that God, who, God whom you have loved in open and behind closed doors, will keep your marriage stronger in health, in wealth, in love. Many more years. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. <laughs>
I was away for a very long time. But the Almighty God preserved me and brought me back to my family. Without taking much of your time, I want to appreciate God for your life. What God has said concerning you, He will surely bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. You have seen 50 years, you will see more years. God is too faithful to fail. If He has said it, He will bring it to pass. I love you both, and I want you to enjoy your day. God bless you. Thank you. Anyway, when I started, 
In fact, um, let me say that Daddy gave me his house, even when he has not started living there. His house, he, he gave it to me to stay, even when he has not packed in. He allowed me to pack in, and I was there before he came. So you are the landlord. He has never seen me as a tenant. He saw me, and he has always seen me as a son. Um, I just want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate mommy. All the while I stay with you. Um, I remember your prayers. You've always told me that I will not leave your house to go and rent another house. And it came to pass. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I also want to thank my brothers and my sisters. Um, Daddy always referred to me as the firstborn. <laughs> and you all accepted that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. Sir. Uh, I'm going to be speaking this way because uh, Daddy is so important to me. I call him a counselor. He's one of the persons that has convinced me to come to this church. I remember the first time I came during my service, uh, uh, Bible college service. He counseled me, told me a lot of things. And when I came to the church, I began to see when you see that in here, you just have to know that mommy's somewhere around that place. And, and I was wondering, every time, day and night. And he told me one day, he said, My son, my dad will cancel for Africa. Go advise you, eh? What he told me, how young he was when he got married, and how I should get married, and every of the benefits and attached to marriage, I was longing to get married. And then I told my second boy, check the fucking thing. <laughs> you know? Well, the reason I'm saying this today is because uh, last year I lost my dad. And when I told him, he just said, oh, sorry my son. As a matter of fact, everybody is his son. Everybody is his son. So he said, come and see me in the house. And then I went there. Mommy gave me an envelope as instructed by Daddy. I learned a lot of things from them. And it gave me understanding that when you stay with people who love each other, you can write about love from their life. I, I have read them like a book and I understood when he said, Mommy, I, I did a drama uh, we were supposed to present, but unfortunately because of the time. The summary of it is, mommy cannot be anywhere when daddy says don't go. And a woman who loves her husband listens to her husband. So, he has been supporting during my musical career, uh, the first album launch. He has done a lot of things to me. Thank his you, sir. His uh, spiritual advice, Thank I just want to say, daddy, I love you. And I'm Thank happy you. that you are here today. I want to thank you seven years. Thank you. Amen. One of the successfully married God. He says, for this God so loved, there is something called love. And in every home, we must try for this love to grow. I read a book so many years back. I thank God for the Chief. He says 20 years in marriage. I thank God for myself. I'm 30 years in marriage. And I see my wife as that young girl that I married yesterday. Now, but before we got married, we read a number of books together. And one of the books talked about love, and it says, the Americans take hot food, take cold food, and, sorry, the Americans take hot food, they take cold food and put it on top of a hot frying pan. And before you know what's happening, both of them will, the temperature will go down. Whereas the Indians take both cold, cold food and cold frying pan, and they bring them together, and both of them heat up gradually, and they continue to heat up. In other words, it was saying that divorce rates in America was so high because they have loved themselves before marriage. 
And so when they enter the home, there's nothing more to know. Is it sex? They have had sex over and over. Is it kissing? They have kissed themselves. Is it playing? They have played. Is it staying together? They have stayed together. So, nothing more. Their love starts going down until the uh, divorce comes up. But she took his head and wanted to say something. We might see whether we will still play that time.